everyone, it's Gina. Graduation season is almost here, so I want to show you how to make a really cute gift box that you could put a gift card, a check, or money in, because that's usually what everybody gives as a gift. <laughs> so, I want to show you how to make a really cute gift box that looks like a graduation cup. And when you open it up, there is your gift. It's really easy to make, and you can also make it in school colors. So if you find out what the colors are for the school, you can coordinate it to match the theme. It's really fun. This is easy to make, and I'm going to show you what you need. You will need some craft foam. I like to use black. You can find this anywhere, even at the dollar store, because it makes it easier to make the gift box. And I like to use a black gift box. If you have white, you can paint it, but you don't really need to, because we're going to be covering it anyway. Also, I like to use peel and stick felt. If you can't find the peel and stick felt that you like, then you can just glue it on with craft glue. <laughs> You'll also need to make the tassel some embroidery floss. This is very inexpensive at the craft store. This one I think was 49 cents. Also, I like to use some twisty ties. These are fun gold twisty ties. You can also get these at a craft store. And you also need a craft knife, some scissors, and a hot glue gun. And the last thing you will need is a gold decorative button. And you can find this also at the craft store. And this is for the top of the graduation hat. And that's it. So let's get started. Measure the top of your jewelry box. Draw your measurements on the foam board. My box was three and a half inches by three and a half inches, so I'm making the top six inches by six inches. Use your craft knife to cut it out. Now trace your foam board shape on the back of the peel and stick felt and cut out. Put the lid on the box. Now measure the space between the lid and the bottom of the box. Cut out some peel and stick felt the width of that space. This is to cover the sides of the box. The length of the peel and stick felt is not long enough to fit around the entire box, so I cut a smaller piece to fill in the gap. Now you have all of your pieces cut out. Peel off the back of the peel and stick felt and carefully place it on the foam board square. Attach the strip of peel and stick felt to the base of the box, lining up the edges to the bottom edge of the box. Measure the gap with the remaining piece of peel and stick felt and fill in the open space. Place the lid back on the box. It should fit perfectly. Here is an easy way to make a tassel. Feed your twisty tie through the loop end. Twist to secure. Bring another twisty tie about a quarter inch from the top. Trim the twisty tie and bend to secure. Feed scissors to the opposite ends of the tassel and trim. Look at that beautiful tassel. Wasn't that easy? Snip the loop off of the button. Place the lid of the box on the side of the foam board without the felt and trace. This will help you easily place the lid when you are gluing. Apply hot glue and attach. Find the center and mark it. Place the stem of the tassel on the center point and apply hot glue. Apply more hot glue and attach the button. There you go! A festive and fun graduation hat gift box perfect for the new graduate. Thank you for watching my video on how to make my graduation cap gift box. If you like the video, please click down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see new videos because I post two videos a week. On Tuesday, it's tips and tricks and the techniques that I use to make some of my designs. And also Thursdays are new craft ideas like the one I just showed you. So, till next time, bye!